Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I'm coming at you live to talk about the top three supplements to focus on for fertility. Now before I dive into this, I want to make sure you understand that this is more of like a blanket statement. Most of the time when I do recommend things for fertility for women, it is really based on an individualistic basis. That's where you're going to get the most success out of it. If you're doing something for fertility and it's sort of general, like, oh, eat healthier, okay take more fish oil okay but if it's not specific to actually help boost the fertility in your system you're not gonna get the best result out of it so just keep that in mind when you're looking at boosting fertility there's so much stuff out there and a lot of it doesn't necessarily apply in fact when I do a lot of research oftentimes I'll be looking at items looking at recommendations and so much of it conflicts with each other, right? Oh, this is really good for you. This is really bad for you. And that leaves you feeling like, well, what am I supposed to do then? Where do I start then? Here's a great place that you can start because these are supplements that are pretty much safe for most women to try to start to do for fertility. But again, I do recommend custom recommendations for each person to really implement in a specific tailored plan for you so that you get and keep the best result possible. If you want to know more about that, I'm going to put a link right here in the comments so that you can check that out about how I work with women more on a one-on-one -on -one basis, customizing your particular plan for whatever it is that you're working on. And a lot of times, and I have an entire program for fertility for women that gets you an amazing, amazing result. So let's talk about the top three supplements for fertility. Okay. First one, protein. You might be like, well, protein, that's food. That's not a supplement. Aha. Yes, it is. You need to boost your protein to levels that are actually supporting your body's vitality. So protein, yes, it's part of your food. It's regular dietary needs, right? But this is an additional amount of protein on top of that to really make sure you're getting your protein needs where they should be to support your system and what it needs. To get pregnant and stay pregnant and deliver a healthy, happy baby, it's a lot of energy on your system best source for that energy, protein, 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 right? And yes, you can get it in your foods. Yes, you can do all those great things. Wonderful. But I got to be honest with you is that one of the hardest places to get protein is really from whole food. Um, so it's really efficient if you're actually adding in a supplement of protein. It should be something clean, right? No artificial colors, sweeteners, um, no other garbage in there. So I'm very, very specific about protein recommendations. Uh, sometimes women have questions on whey protein versus, you know, plant-based protein, that type of a thing. And for a lot of women, um, dairy products are actually really, really good to boost fertility, right? So there's that too. So keep that in mind. This is extra protein on top of that. The second one is going to be maca. Now this is, it can be in a capsule, but oftentimes it's found in a powder and I'll have women just add this right in their morning shake or add it into, you know, something that you're drinking. If you're doing stuff for fertility, you're trying to get in as much nutrient as possible all the time, right? So adding this into a shake that you're doing where you're adding your greens, adding a bunch of other stuff and perfect to add in. Now, the great thing about this is that it is really focused on restoring hormone balance, restoring where your hormones should be. And it's really helpful for estrogen dominance. So if you've been on the pill, if you've been exposed to toxins, have some issues with your cycle, really fighting with that, this can help. Is this the end all be all? No, of course I recommend eating, you know, for your cycle and your hormones, seed cycling, all that other stuff too. But this is gonna be really helpful on top of that, especially for something, somebody with estrogen dominance and a lot of women with fertility issues, they'll have that estrogen dominance in their history. So again, fantastic for that. Most people have heard of this, right? Everybody's heard of this. Most people have heard of this, right? If you're looking at supplements of some kind. This one though might be like, what? I bet you would have thought I would have put ashwagandha on here, right? <laughs> I love me some ashwagandha, yes. But for fertility, specifically for women, right? So in my fertility protocol, I actually have something specific for men because that's a whole separate ball game, right? But for women, the Shadavari is really, really important 
for female hormones, not only balancing them, but increasing libido, helping get your system to get the right amount of estrogen going every month. So that again, not only when you get pregnant, you can sustain that viable pregnancy. So that's really, really important. Um, getting a clean source of this is going to be important too, because again, the more garbage you get in your system, the more it interrupts how your system works, all that stuff. So Shadavari. One of my favorite ones. This is a great herb. Um, it is an adaptogen as well. So not only is it going to help your system with all the hormone pieces, but added bonus, <laughs> it's also going to help your system combat any stressors or any distress that you're under when you're trying to go through this. So this is a really, really important thing to look at the protein maca, the shatavari, um, Again, getting clean things, but this is in addition, right? This is a supplement on top of all the other helpful, healthy, wonderful things that you're already doing to work on fertility. Now, the last thing I want you to really, again, kind of focus on here, get in your brain, is these are general. What's gonna work best for you is something custom, and my favorite way to find a custom protocol for people is through a Dutch test. This is a dried urine test for comprehensive hormones. The, there is actually a Dutch test that does cycle mapping. So it lays out exactly where things are going well and where things are not going well throughout the month for you. So whenever you're working on something, whenever you're like, oh, this feels okay, but this doesn't, what do I do? Uh, the Dutch test tells you exactly. So a lot of times when I work with women for fertility, will set out their plan, protocol, everything else, and a lot of it is tailored off of what your system needs specifically, which is what we get off of the Dutch test. So, again, more questions on that, just go in the comments. There's that link there where you can learn more about how I work with women one-on-one. -on -one. You can check out my website to learn more about Dutch testing, what that is, how that does. I mean, you can even Google it. They've got a lot of great resources out there, um, but fantastic, fantastic information to really get you started on the right path, right? A lot of times you feel like you're, you know, walking through a maze, <laughs> taking a left, taking a right, trying to do this, trying to do that, not sure where you're going next because you're not sure what's working for you. This gives you the entire map of what you need to do to get your body going naturally. It's fantastic. So a couple other resources I have for you. Uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon and talks all about nutrition for your hormones and your cycle. Um, and then uh, I do have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on all my videos. And then my podcast is The Female Health Solution, where I do a ton of information. I've got some really fun stuff, some great interviews that are coming out in the next week. So you can subscribe as well. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your night and let me know if you have any other questions.